fighter in the world by the WBA. I like this fight. The sauce, Lawrence Acoli. Please subscribe. 2016 Rio Olympian raced through the ranks to become British champion against Matty Askin, but it was aesthetically about as unpleasing as the fight's going to be. He's uh, as big a critic of himself as everybody 14, else has been. 3, 2, Coley, and 14, so fair play to him for understanding maybe some of the technical deficiencies that he had under Brian O'Shaughnessy. I watched some tape. All the way from an amateur and to the place he was as a pro, but ultimately he needed to make those adjustments. And we think Shane McGuigan could be the perfect man to, to be in his corner and help him make those adjustments and move on up towards the ranks. But this is going to be some challenge for him tomorrow night. Yeah, I think so. It's a great title to own the European title. Um, it's actually, I, I, I want it twice, not to talk about this off. But it's the one... I actually don't know where one of those belts are. One of them, my dad's got one frame. What, you've lost one, you mean? Well, I don't know where it is. I actually don't know where it is, but it, I was honestly so proud to win the European title because, you know, with, with Lawrence O'Coley, I said it before. Uh... So Lawrence O'Coley is already ranked cruiserweight, six foot four, you know, 200 pound cruiserweight, is already ranked pretty high, number two, by the WBA. That's the path he's going, you know, but if he were to win, I'm like, you know, okay. Cruiserweight right now, the the the, the players are Mirrors Breedis with the take on um he's the WBC Diamond and will he be elevated to full WBC champion or will the winner of him versus Golowski rematch for the WBC Diamond and WBL? Anyway, it's a little bit confusing. Unier Dorticos is also supposed to when are they fighting? When is the cruiserweight final for season two of the World Boxing Super Series? There was controversy in the way that... Hold on. Oh, no, I just think we're just saying the progress. Just, all right, okay, there you go, there you go, variety, right. So, yeah, okay. we either both win or both lose on that Se one, don't Selfies we? to follow next week. <laughs> well, Ethan Garbo said he knows he's not the biggest cruiserweight in the world, but he's used to fighting taller guys. He's used to getting up close and personal. He's watched the goalie. He is impressed, but he also said he hasn't faced anybody that's going to absorb those shots and come straight back at him. He said he, he overawes guys with his power. People become gun-shy very, very quickly against him that won't be me tomorrow night well we don't know but if okay case, i just did a little bit of research very, very interesting fight. It's a, it's a so let me mute that real quick okay so glowaski was offered the shite to fight uh makabu for the vacant wbc title but what's but and miris Breedis is supposed to fight unier dorticos in the finals of the world boxing super series but that shit is all fucked up so let's 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 stay on topic Lauren tokali has got to look good, and right now, you know, I don't, Yves and Gambu, I don't know too much about him outside the little bit of tape, you know, I got to watch, but he seems pretty, you know, better than the recent Lauren Tokali opponents. So I'm expecting a good fight. I'm going to be doing post-fight results. They got to get him a better box rec picture. Why they got his lips all ashy like that? My man looking all fucked up. You know, but basically, um, he's been back on, you know, KOs again after that nasty, intimate hug fest against uh, Matty Askin. And he was in the running to get Dennis Lieberdev for that WBA title before um, Lieberdev had retired. And now you have to wonder, will he go after? I forgot how to say this guy's name. That's got to be the plan. So we, we, we got to listen to what Eddie says and uh, watch the fight. And hopefully he gives us something in a post-fight interview. I got to get to the um, to the uh, the main event weigh-in. Well, the co-main event or the co-feature, Chisora versus um, 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 David Price. And the main event is Regis Progre versus Josh Taylor. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. So I'm going to be here tomorrow with uh, post-fight results and highlights. Man, all right, all right. Got to get to the weigh-in. Be right back. Please subscribe. It just goes smoothly, and nothing happens. Uh.